Welcome to Geocache Camo Job 101. Uh, what the easiest way to do this is run out to your local Canadian Tire. I think Walmart also has it. You can buy Krylon flat black camouflage paint comes in, uh, black, brown, tan, and all of drab, and uh, very easy to get. Very quick drying. Um, I always lay down a base color on the object I'm. Uh, camoing, we got desert tan over here and just flat black on this one. Everybody's asking me what makes those neat patterns. Well, it's nothing fancy. We got here, we got a piece of uh, mesh screen that um, you can get in pretty much any laundry area of Walmart. Uh, this was a military scarf or bag of some sort. Just a pretty random pattern. I also once in a while will use this old piece of baseball netting that if you multi-layer it, it makes for a pretty nice pattern. So. Putting down your base color, it's just as simple as laying on your desired piece of cloth or whatever it is you're doing. And very simple. On this one it's got tan, so I'm going to use three different, uh, the green, brown, and black. Come in here. Doesn't have to be fancy, we're not going for fancy. Okay, go with the green. And it's just that simple. So over here we've got our black one. So we'll come across with the green. And you can use whatever spray pattern you want, wide, thin, don't matter. Oops. Brown on there. I use gloves normally. And that's pretty much it. And sometimes if you want, ta-da. Ta-da, gives us a nice snakeskin pattern on both. And start experimenting. If you don't like it, you can go, you know what? I don't like that. Go with a little black all over. Changes the look real quick. Boom, nothing to it. black, maybe a little green. Boof, changes the look. It's just that simple.